Hey guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at how to work out the surface area of a cylinder. So if we take a cylinder we can see that it's kind of kind of be comprised of three different shapes. So we're going to have the top, which is a circle, we're going to have the bottom, which is another circle, and then we're going to have this region in the middle here, which if we were to kind of flatten it out it would look like a rectangle. So you can see that if we were to take this rectangle here, and then two circles, so these are pretty poorly drawn, but take two circles, this rectangle, put them all together, we could kind of make this cylinder over here. So in order to work out the total surface area, we want to work out what the total area of this bunch of flattened out shapes would be. So the best way to do that is to kind of separate it out. So we say we'll have a circle as one part of our shape, and then we're going to have this rectangle, and that's going to be the other part of our cylinder. So we know we've got two of this shape up the top, and then we've got one of this shape down the bottom. So if we look at our cylinder on the right, we can kind of see that for this example, I'm going to assume that that's the center, and if we come out here, the radius of this cylinder is going to be 3 centimeters, and then I'll assume that the height is going to be 5 centimeters. So if we want to work out the surface area, all we need is a radius and a height, and that's it, then we can work out everything. So if we take that over here, we know that this is going to be the circle, which is that top part here. So there's the center. If we trace it out to the edge, we then have a radius, just being the radius being the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. And the radius is going to be equal to point, uh, actually, let's not call that. So the radius is going to be equal to three centimeters. So now we know that we have the top and the bottom. And if you have the radius for a circle, we know that we can work out the area. So the area for a circle is just equal to pi times by the radius squared. So that's the area of a circle, and that tells us this, distant, this space which it covers here. So if the area is equal to pi r squared, we know pi is roughly 3.14. If you haven't seen pi before, check out the video on pi. It's a mathematical constant, and it's always equal to 3.14. And the radius is just equal to 3 centimeters, so all we need to do is punch this into our formula. So we're going to have 3.14 times by uh, 3 squared. So that's going to give us the area of the circle is 3.14 times 3 squared. You should find that that gives you somewhere in the region of 28.27 four centimeters squared. So remember it's centimeters squared because we're multiplying the radius squared which is three centimeters times by three centimeters. So we get these units of squared here on the end. So we know that on the top we'll have this area of 28.274 and then on the bottom we'll have this area of 28.274. So we're essentially you know, two-thirds of the way to working out the total surface area of our cylinder. So the second thing we need to do is we need to have a look at this part in the middle. So if we were to wrap this around, so if we started here and we, we wrapped it up into a, a circle, we'd get this cylindrical shape. So we can see that this rectangle is just going to be the section in the middle. And we can see just from the diagram that it's going to have a height of 5 centimeters. So here is the height, just between here and here, so it's also going to be our height here. But what we don't know is we don't know this distance here. But what we can do is we can work it out. So if we look over on our diagram here, this distance here, which I've just done in purple, is just going to be the circumference of our circle. So say we started here and we went all the way around, that distance from there to there is just the distance from here all the way around and then back to the start again. So it's going to be the same on the top as it is on the bottom. So on the bottom here, oops, on the bottom here we just have the circumference of our circle. So if we remember, and if you don't know, you're welcome to check out the video on circumference. The circumference of a circle is just equal to uh, 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. So the circumference of a circle is 2 times pi times the radius. And we know 2 is a constant. We know pi, as we said before, 
is going to be a constant and we know that the radius is equal to 3 centimeters. So we can say here that the circumference of this shape, oops, we can say that the circumference of this edge here or the length of this side here is going to be 2 times pi times by 3 centimeters. So this length here is just going to be 18.85 centimeters. So 18.85 centimeters. So then we can say this side here is 18.85 centimeters in length. So then this just becomes a simple formula here. If we know that the height of this side is 5 centimeters and the length of this side is 18.85 centimeters, we know that the total area of this rectangle is equal to 5 centimeters multiplied by 18.85 centimeters, so centimeters on both of those. So the area is going to come out to be 94.2477 centimeters squared. So that's what's going to be the area of our shape here. So we know that the top has this area of 28, the bottom has this area of 28, and then this middle section has an area of 94.24 centimeters. So if we want to work out the total of all of this, all we then need to do is we just take the areas of all three individually and then we're going to add them together. So we know the area of the top is 28.274 centimeters squared. It's important that we keep the units. The area of the bottom is 28.274 centimeters squared. And the area of this shape in the middle is 94.2477 centimeters squared. So we know that the area of the shape or the area of our cylinder is just going to be all of these added together. So we can see that the area of our shape is going to be roughly 150.7964 centimeters squared. So this might be a little out because of rounding, but that should give you the general process of how to calculate the area of a cylinder. I'll put out some tricky examples on how you might get examined on this sort of stuff. Thanks guys.